Hey everybody, Crystal Kitsuna here. And I'm going to try and do a new little segment type thing, maybe every other Friday. Uh, happy Friday, by the way. Um, this little segment is going to be like where the snack crates are done when I get them. I still have not gotten uh, August snack crate, so I really don't think I'm going to be getting it. Um, I canceled my snack crate uh, subscription, so hopefully I'll get September's, but I don't know anymore because the last thing I saw is that it was supposed to be here in North Highlands and it hasn't gotten here, so either somebody stole it or it's never going to get here. Um, but I'm thinking that I'll try to do the snack crates Fridays if when I get them, if and when, it, or whatever company I go with, uh, either Universal Yums or whatever. Um, or it, as a supplement, I'll also do like Crystal's Corner, um, which is like this little sort of um, recommendation kind of thing, I guess, like movies or books or whatever. I know this is like the stupidest thing. Um, but actually, the reason why I'm doing this is because I didn't want to give you another bullshit video about me un unable to being unable to record. I've had some issues with the, my recording software. Um, apparently, it needed to be updated. Uh, but, but what it was doing, it was giving me like spikes where the video would like freeze or just cut out completely and I'm like wondering why this is happening so hopefully with any luck I won't have that problem anymore cross your finger cross my fingers and everybody's fingers um, but the reason okay so that's the reason basically why I decided to do this because uh, I don't have time for a game but I thought it was actually a good idea anyway because I don't get to really like I talk with you guys but I don't really get into m you know me suggesting stuff anymore um, I used to back in the beginning I was doing like a almost book club kind of but that kind of tanked it kind of tanks because I don't read that often so I didn't want to spend all that time trying to read um, and I don't really watch that many movies but I do recommend movies that I have watched before so you know I'll recommend either really old movies or newer movies or something whatever or maybe something even entirely different like a, a, a YouTube video or, or uh, um, uh, I don't know um, or an app on a phone or something so on the phone so I think I'll do today I'll do the movie that I was actually watching earlier today or haven't actually finished watching um, again and a couple apps that I have on my phone so today this video is a movie and two apps what happens next week I don't know I don't know if I'll do this segment every other Friday or every Friday maybe every other Friday I don't know it's just new uh, I'll test it out to see what's going how it goes but anyway so the movie that I'm going to talk about is called um, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang um, this is a very very old movie don't let the fact that it's in a DVD case fool you um, it's actually a really really old movie um, it stars Dick Van Dyke Sally Ann Howe Say Sellyan, yeah, Sellyan House, and um, Lionel Jeffries. Um, I don't know the other two people, but I definitely do know Dick Van Dyke. So this movie came out originally in 1968. It says so on this uh, copyright thing here on the back. Um, so this movie, it's like a really shitty case too. Um, this movie. Uh, was one of my favorites as a kid that wasn't Disney because this isn't Disney I don't even know who does this who does this 20th Century Fox so this movie was done a very long time ago you may know Dick Van Dyke from like Mary Poppins he was also in uh, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Robinson Crusoe which is kind of like a, a take on the like the Robinson Crusoe from way back but He's like a sailor, or a, yeah, sailor that gets washed up on an island and he has to live, etc., etc. I watched that one last night. This one here, um, he did a lot of other movies. He was also really famous for Diagnosis Murder, where he has like a lot of his family doing stuff in there. Um, but this movie, it's so weird. Like the very, f like the first half of the movie, because it gives you an intermission, believe it or not. Um, but the first half of the movie is, <coughs> is like normal kind of he's an inventor he invents things and there's a car involved and then 
the second half of the movie is like crazy. Um, but it's like a super long movie. It's like, what, two and a half hours? Um, 145 minutes. So whatever that breaks down to in hours. Um, okay, so this is the synopsis on the back of this DVD. Um, it goes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, start your engines. You're about to take an incredible ride on one of the most wonderfully, wonderful family films of all time. With its clever tunes, including the Oscar-nominated title song, which is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Um, marvelous cast and enchanted storyline. This delightful romp is lots of fun and simply too sweet to pass up. Uh, Dick Van Dyke stars an eccentric adventurer, Karatakis Potts, who and creates an extraordinary call car called Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. It not only drives, but it flies and floats. As it lead him and his two children and his beautiful and his beautiful lady friend, truly scrumptious, into a magic world of pirates, castles, and endless adventure. This movie, um, well, as I was saying, the, the first half of the movie seems like it's real. Like, the guy makes a car and it drives. Okay, that's fine. But, like, the second half of the movie, I think, is just kind of like a dream sequence or something. Um, because it doesn't really... I mean, I think it's just, like, him telling the story and they're just ble being the characters in the story. Um, because I don't think they actually, that actually happens. In this, in this synopsis, it makes it sound like that stuff actually happens, but I think it's just him telling the story, and, because when you get to the end, it's like, they're back where they were at, at the beginning of the story, and everything's fine, da 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 Okay, so, this is the new, like, DVD, like, cover version of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. So they put it on DVD, um, but it's not, like, originally on DVD, because apparently it didn't come out in... It, in 2000, whatever. Um, this has been out since 1968, so there is a VHS version, which I do own, by the way. Um, and I'll read the synopsis on the back of that here. Um, but this movie, I recommend because it's, like, it held, held, holds up pretty well for it being, like, super old. But anyway, so this is the, the uh, VHS version, at least the version I have. Um, it's been out since 1968, but this particular cover art and whatnot is, um, 1989. And this one says MGM UA Home Video. So, apparently, um, uh, 20th Century Fox bought the rights to market it, because that's not the original, um, 2 hours and 27 minutes is how long it takes. Um, and it gives you a, um, uh, intermission in the middle. Um, but anyway, so this one here, <clears throat> um, this is the synopsis on the back of this particular movie. Um, Dick Van Dyke stars in his first musical role since Mary Poppins in this enchanted fantasy that takes you on a ride that you'll never forget, and one you'll want to take again and again. Eccentric adventurer Caractacus Potts, Dick Van Dyke, uh, his two children and his beautiful lady friend, truly scrumptious Sally Ann Howe, go on a picnic at a beach where they're soon whisked into a magical world of pirates' castles and a flying car call Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And the adventure that ensues the journey to Vulgaria and encounter the evil Baron Bombers and his child-hating wife who kidnap Pops', Pops Potts' children and steal the magical car. With the aid of the village toy ma maker, uh, Potts plans an elaborate scheme to rescue the kidnapped children and Chitty Chitty Chit Bang Bang from the castle based on the novel from Ian Fleming. Uh, it also includes clever songs, including the theme song, um, that, and this one, and, and delight the, the, the entire family. So basically, like, this whole thing like, gives you, like, the synopsis, like, the whole, like, gives you, like, the inside of the whole movie, basically. Um, like, but I guess that's what, like, synopsis were, were back in the day. Uh, they basically just told you the fucking plot of the movie without, like, like, spoiler alert, um, but no, this, this movie is actually pretty fun. Um, there's only a couple of movies that I still like that hold up to, hold up, you know, today. Um, but I won't get into those this time, but I'll recommend it maybe a couple other ones, um, later on. Some of which I don't actually own, like, the DVD or VHS of, but I, like, recorded it off the TV, so I have a version of it. Um, but yeah, so there, that's the, the, the movie. Um, the two apps that I'm going to tell you about, um, one I've actually been playing for quite some time, and I will start with that one first because that's the one I've been playing the most. It's called, okay, and then all of these, uh, games are on, um, 
Android, by the way, I have an Android phone, so I'm not sure if they have an iOS version, but you can always check the uh, store, appropriate store for whatever, the uh, a a Apple Store, I guess, to see if they have that game in, in here. Um, I'm not, I, I, don't, I think it might have a, um, it might have an iOS version. But here's the home screen, or not the home screen, but like the loading screen uh, for Merge Dragons. The artwork is pretty cool. Um, when I first saw like uh, it advertised, because it like suggested it to me, um, I think through like PewDiePie's whatever. Okay, so this is where you start out basically. You start out and this thing is called Camp. Um, as you can see, like there's a whole bunch of like little dinos or dinosaurs, dragons flying around, and I've got like a bunch of stuff here on this board. Um, those are all things that you can acquire in this game. Um, and the blue clouds are areas that haven't been unlocked yet. So basically what you do is you, those little um, round things that have the hearts in them, you click on those and they will uh, help unlock uh, certain areas and stuff. Um, but then you have like a, an additional thing where you go to the world map and there's puzzle boards that you can go. So like all of these like things are levels that you can go through and you can play them and essentially you need to clear out the land from being dead to being alive again and you do that through a series of different motions. Most of it is merge. You merge three things together and you get another thing or you have, uh, merge five things together and you get two things of the whatever it merges into or six and whatever. So the more you merge, the more stuff that you get from it. Um, but I've like basically gone through like all the levels that they have so far. Um, I mean, I've gone playing this for a while. The last level is Fjord 9, and then it gives you this thing saying Dragon uh, Dragonia will expand soon. So I'm caught up all on whatever they have here. Um, I'm not sponsored to say these things, by the way. Like, I'm just suggesting these things. I wish I had, like, a sponsor, but... I don't have any sponsors yet, so maybe someday, cross your fingers. Um, the other, okay, so Merge Dragons, it's a cute little puzzle game, basically. Um, if you're interested in it, just like search for Merge Dragons in your search, uh, either at Google Play or the app, Apple App Store or whatever. Um, the other game is called uh, Internium Mage and Minions, and it's basically like an RPG game. Uh, you you start it up and you know you choose your class and your gender and then you get to fight things. Essentially it's kind of like a app version of Vindictus which is done by the same people that do like Mabinagi or Naji or whatever it's pronounced and a couple of other um, games. Um, and you go through different levels and you can do them the more you do them the more di uh, gems you get and you use gems for things um, of course, there's going to be like microtransactions if you want to buy more stuff, but it's not necessary so far to me to have to buy anything to further myself in the game. Um, there's like so far like three planets and like maybe about six levels per planet. You'll have to look. But this is the, si the sign on screen when you first come in. Uh, you have your character there and you've got your. Uh, you get people to fight with you eventually. Um, and then you hit play. Um, and then you have your character sitting here. So this is the character, uh, and there's a bunch of things flashing and whatever, because that's stuff that you can, uh, do. Uh, there's quests that you can do, there's, um, things you collect, things that you can, um, uh, craft together and all that. So that's pretty fun. Um, so when you go to next, it will take you to the map. And then you just fight fight things. I'm not gonna fight anything on camera, but um, there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fourteen levels and like three extra things that I don't think they're actually like levels. They're just like side quest things. So all these things, and then you go to a different planet after that. So I'm not quite sure how that works because I haven't got there yet. But this is the map, and each one has uh, five stars on it. So you can do this level five times, and the more times that you do the level, the more um, coin or uh, gems that you get. And then when you 
uh, I guess finish all of them and you get all the stars, there, you get something else afterwards, because it shows like a thing, it shows 28 out of 600 or something, I guess that's like for the whole thing. Um, but you can choose the, no the level, uh, the, the hero level, I guess you could say, like normal, hard, the difficulty, that's what I'm trying to think of. Um, so anyway, the, that's a really cute game, a little RPG game. It actually runs pretty well, and you use um, signs, kind of like sigils, to do spells. So like you do like a Z for the guy to do a charge, you do an up, uh, like a up point like this to make one thing, you do a down V to do something else, and you get, you know, stuff like you can equip your person with. So. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's a cute little app. I just picked it up like the day before yesterday or yesterday. So, um, so far it's fun. I haven't had to buy anything. Um, a lot of apps that are kind of like this are like pay to play. And you basically have to have um, money to like get, get the gems and then gems use. I mean, that's a thing you can do if you wanted to to get better. But I don't think it's generic or essentially necessary for you to do that in order to play. So that's going to be probably it. I have a couple minutes late left, but I'm just going to say that's going to be it for um, today's video. I'm sorry if it's weird or stupid or whatever, um, but I think I might have fixed the problem that the recording has, the recording software has had or whatever. So with any luck, Saturday's video won't be crap <laughs> or an option be a game because I tried doing uh, hidden folks and it was giving me uh, parts of the thing where it just stops and like no sound or whatever and then it just picks up at a random spot and uh, in that particular episode I forgot to change the mic so the mic was like the default mic so it would have been uh, <coughs> a pain in the ass to listen to anyway so anyway that's going to be it for today's video if you like this video make sure to give it a like and share it with your friends uh, follow me on twitter, instagram, discord there's a link to th on the bottom to join the discord group if you're interested and if you go over here, there'll be a video that YouTube suggested you check, that you check out. In the middle will be my face. You can click there to go subscribe. And over on the other, uh, this here, right here, uh, will be a link to the merchandise store where you can get some merch. So that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks again for, I guess, understanding that I'm here this doing this and not actually uh, playing a game or eating food. But remember, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang got Dick Van Dyke and all that. So if you want to see a really cool movie, cute cool and cute movie um check that out and the two apps i'll like write down the names of them in the description so you can check them out if you're interested in trying to find them for yourself so thanks again for watching everyone and i'll see you next time bye bye